Okay guys, I'm here today with Pete the Greek, so black belt from Carson Gracie and a huge honor for me and guys, uh, he's special in some wrist lock and uh, we have heard a lot of people talking about his wrist locks so I'm very excited to learn from him today and he's gonna show us here how to do the wrist lock from close guard and a lot of concepts so he's gonna show like different uh, wrist locks from close guard and we shot an entire structure with him for BGG Fanatics all about wrist locks so maybe by the time you're watching the video it's a regular BGG Fanatics or if not just wait and I hope you enjoy so let's do it hey thanks Bernardo thank you I didn't realize you're that big in real life first of all <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like a munchkin but here's the thing wrist locks the first one that i ever learned was a self-defense wrist lock and there's nothing really complicated about wrist locks it's basically someone's pushing on you and like the first time i got wrist lock was from my friend fred senpai show i used to live in a gym i heard that he was one of the best ones right? like in oswaldo Owls, we live like me andre Galo, a few other guys jack ray we live in a little place smaller than this room and the first wrist lock I ever got was we started on our knees, you know, like, and, and I grabbed this collar and boom, that's it. Like, ah. <laughs> so there you start falling in love with this stuff. You're like, oh my God, you know, that was, that was so cool. And with the wrist, you know, there's different ways to bend it. You can bend it like this. I say like you're like a waiter, like a waiter's hand, or you can do it like this, like a collar's hand. And you want to twist it too. And notice how the elbow is moving, so I keep the elbow, and that's going to get it. So you need to have elbow control and wrist control. So what I like to do right now, I have so many like BJJ books and everything with all these techniques and pictures, and I know all the, the moves in the books. I've had them for years, so I try to find the wrist lock in every move. So that's if right. you look in every move... You can find a wrist lock, just like you do the over under pass. You can do that from anywhere. Yeah, I agree. Anywhere, like I any agree. type of guard. Just so same thing with the wrist lock. You know, the guy's gonna have an elbow, he's gonna have a hand. And um, of course, the easiest place to wrist lock people is if I'm on top of them. It gets trickier when you're on the bottom in the guard. So that's why I'm gonna show a couple of um, wrist locks from my closed guard. And what's cool about a wrist lock is when you're defending, when you're attacking one wrist lock, he's gonna use his other hand to escape. Usually he's gonna like push on your face or push on your hand. So I'm gonna show one wrist lock I like to do from the closed guard. There you go. Okay, so closed guard, you know, however you like to do it, however you like to get the grip, but you're gonna get like this grip right over here. And I think I first start doing this type of grip watching Marcelo Garcia. He's always like pulling people, arm dragging and everything. But a lot of times when you try and pull the arm, he's going to bury his elbow. And that's going to give you one, one wrist lock. It goes right there. I can pull it on my hip. I can bring it up here on my chest if needed. But this one most likely is going to be in the hip. I try to pull it. He pulls it down and I punch him. Okay. So when I come over here, maybe he's gonna take this hand and start pushing on my face or something. I can get ah. this one. Or maybe I'm over here and he starts removing that, pushing my wrist with his free hand. Yeah, like this. Bring it up hey. on my chest and I bring it down. Ah. If for some reason he's too strong, his hand starts making a fist, I can get on top ah. of it. Oh my God. So many. So here he fakes it back, boom. Here, boom, boom. Starts pushing, ah. boom. So they're always, they're always everywhere. Everywhere you go, boom. I can pull it up on my chest. Boom, boom, always trying to move. Start going for the back. You got other ones right here. So, so guys, that's amazing. Like, look how many variations and how many different angles. Sometimes it's the same variation, but he approached different angles to it. So anywhere, in, in one minute here, you probably show like more than ten. Even like so if he throws so a bunch in my face, like throw a punch, boom, catch it right here. Look, ah, wrist lock. You know, because you have this type of control. Boom, he throws a punch. Right. Yay. Bah. Okay, that's that's one or two. I have lots. I got them from guillotines. I have them from darces. Like I said, any position 
that you're in, you can wrist lock someone. Even right there. I'm not gonna and I squeeze it. Boom. Coming around to the back. Boom. More wrist locks everywhere. You have from the back as well? Yeah, from the you back. Some from the back. Okay, so like I get the back. A lot of times the guy's gonna try and grab my head or something like that. You know? Hey! Boom. Especially with the gi right here, they try and pull you down. Hey! You catch them from the back. And, uh, uh, I'm, I'm getting excited here, man. I'm like, <laughs> hey! That's amazing. But I, I climb my legs when I keep the elbow on my hip. Okay, why? Because his defense is to pull out. Hey! But when I have it up here on my chest, if I catch it, I can keep my guard low. So if I keep it up here, I don't need to climb my legs because he can't back up. But if I finish it down here, you don't want to finish it in your ribs. Like if I feel people trying to wrist lock me, I take my elbow and dig it right in their ribs. Because if I pull it into my ribs, you're going to hurt me. You see, I, I mean, this hurts right here in my ribs. So I want to pull it into my hips or up on my chest. If he starts taking the other hand to remove this one, yeah, I can switch it to this one. I don't even do Americana locks too much. I just go straight, straight to the wrist. Like. Straight to the wrist, everywhere. Boom. From the mount, from everywhere. And yeah, as you uh, get... Peter, I'm getting excited here. Man. Show some front and front okay. side control as well. Yeah, I know. I know. It's like, very, very cool. Like I said, when you specialize in a move, take one of those books. Buy 10 of those books and just be like, okay, wrist lock here, 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 here. <laughs> I use the books as study guides. like, Because a lot of times in the older books, they don't put all the details, right? Yeah. So then you add your details. So... Wrist locks from the mount. Okay, I'll do another combo. Okay, so if you if you got someone on the mount, um, just go hey. right here, boom. Just go straight for it. If his elbows are in, like sometimes they try to get it here. Hey. Here, I can circle it down here, I boom. Do. Like that. You know, I can go over, pin it, hey. catch it. If his, if his hands are in like this, I could... Just, if he puts against his face, look, I boom, face. If I start choking him right here, he puts his hand in there, I boom. Um, BJ Penn showed me a choke when I used to live there. Sorry, I'm not gonna do it to you, but he covers their face like this, and then the guys put their hands up, boom. It's gonna be wrist locks everywhere. Yeah, my base is off right here for sure. So if he rolls me, I still maintain the wrist lock. Come up, come up. I still maintain it. Don't let it go. Side control, Pete. Okay, side control wrist locks. My favorite one is I come over here, I swim it, and I catch it right here. And you're thinking, oh, that's too hard to do. But it's not that hard. And you keep the, the weight on him. As he starts pulling his elbow down a little bit. Oh my God, pull. his armpit. That's amazing. And I don't have to wait for him to pull it down. I could just... Really, I get, I get, I get, I get. This one, he starts escaping his head sometimes, like this. I, 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 and this is Americana wrist lock. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then another way is if he's turning out right to here. Pull this one in. I, 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 you're always going to catch people on this type of move when, you're, when they turn away. Ah. You catch them right there. Oh my God. So like I use like this guard pass. I come on. Boom. Boom. I, Boom. They're gonna be right there all the time. Um so uh, so we, right we did from guard, we did from mount, we did from back, we did from uh side control. What about on top in the close guard? You have something? On top in the close guard, yeah. Check this out. Alright, so I'm over here. I'm like, man, this guy's guard is hard to open. I gotta bait him. So like, the first bait I used to do is like maybe give the triangle, but right now I'm gonna give him this. Oh my God. <laughs> ah. Ah. That's amazing. If he, if he doesn't tap to that, I can start working like this guard pass I used to do, but I don't like that because it gives me a plata on this side. He could go a plata, but yeah, there's a pass I can do yeah, I, I, over I, here, but I don't like that one. I'll just do this. I come up. Boom. And especially for a fight, look at this. Like right here. Boom. I 
it's completely trapped. Try and move his arm a little bit. It's tough, you know. That's amazing. And that's a, that's a good wrist lock from the top. Um, so yeah, I think Cobra also also served. I have him from every 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 position. Like sometimes I stay up at night and all I do is think about wrist lock. <laughs> because when I hurt my back, um, let me see. I got in a bad accident. I had to have a two discs replaced in my spine. So since I got I got in a car accident, so the wrist locks are cool because not too much movement. Yeah, I, if I'm gonna do like an arm bar or something, I gotta scoop the arm, I gotta spin around, I gotta do all this stuff. The wrist lock is good when you get older too. You just be like, pop, 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 pop. Your yeah. little circles. And eventually the people get scared to hold you. Oh yeah. And then they just stay away. Yeah. And then you gotta work other stuff, so. My second, I always try to control the wrist. If I can't control the wrist, I control the neck. So I go wrist, neck, wrist, neck, wrist, neck. Oh, you're defending your wrist, neck, whether it's guillotine, cross face, whatever. Oh, he's defending the neck, wrist. Amazing. And this goes back and forth. I got wrist locks from like Dar's chokes. I got them from guillotine chokes. Like if I do a guillotine, Jeff Glover showed his guillotine, does arm in like this, yeah. boom. Comes back, boom. But a lot of times the guys try pulling this arm in, yeah? And look what he's got. Aye, 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 aye. Boom, he's got it right there. That's how he's I got him. Last one, I put you in a darse. Put you in one darse move right over here. Boom. He starts pulling his hand in. Like, yeah, like this one starts getting it in. Aye, aye, aye. Boom. I got this one. Aye, aye, aye. Boom. That's how he's Half guard. Yeah, half of there. We didn't throw one half of This is the one your teammate did. I remember he did it to somebody. And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mateo's videos, yeah. Yes. So like here you're controlling. Even if he gets up to his elbow, go up to your elbow, like post up. Yeah. I just come over here, pull it down. And then go, ah, yeah. And that makes it worse. I get it. And uh, what about half your own boy and have something? Mm, actually, I play around with one from the deep half guard, but I haven't get it yet. Yeah. So uh, just to finish, steady. Standing, Probably okay. have 100 standing. Oh, standing is pretty easy. Like, they got this one, if the guy's grabbing your neck. Like in Luta Libre, they like to grab people like right here. They come like, like a master lay down. So they grab yeah. people like this, here or here. So when the guy's like, like grab it, you know? You come hey. here, and then you bring it down. Hey. See, when I bring it down, here's one thing, but here he's not gonna tap. He's gonna tap when I come. Ay, 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 ay. And Zanga showed me that detail at the end of the chop. Yeah. You got those ones, you have when they push. If the guy's hands are like this, I can wrist lock him just by coming. Ay, ay, ay. Right here. Get like ay, this ay, bicep ay, ay. to wrist lock. That's amazing. Because the hands, usually when you're fighting somebody, on the bottom or whatever, their hands are usually up or they're going for underhooks. Yeah. <laughs> and when they go for underhooks, I have wrist locks too. Right. So, right, it's just something I specialize in. Thank you so much. I, it's not going to work against this guy. But. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, look how many wrist locks. I think uh, we might have done more than 50 here like in last night. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, so problem. guys, uh, really, really cool. And we did everything quick here. So, uh, Pete has shot an instruction all about wrist locks, his wrist locks from everywhere. So very soon it's going to be at bjfanatics.com. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. Mm -hmm. So make sure to check it out. Thanks so much, Pete. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So I'm trying to bring as many videos as possible. And if you subscribe, that helps. And I have a school in Chicago. If you're yeah. in Chicago, Where look me up. School? Pete the Greek. Um, it's Rio Jiu-Jitsu Academy. And Where is it located? In Chicago? In Chicago. Chicago. In Chicago, so. Chicago. And we're there. Cool. All the time. Uh, I guess if you're in Chicago, that's the time to learn the wrist lock. And last cool. thing, if you're ever in Brazil, try and find Master Oswaldo Alves. He's hard to find these days, but he knows more wrist locks than me, I think. He's got more years. I've been doing him for 20 years. I'm very doing... good friends with Sergio Payne. Oh, yeah, he knows him. Yeah. So I train him a lot in Brazil. Yeah. He, he knows them all, too. Cool. So you know. He knows. Oh, that's awesome, guys. Thanks so much, Pete. Thank Appreciate you. it. Awesome. Awesome. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.